Hello everybody, my name is Yimage, and welcome back to Tales of Zestria. And now, I have to apologize for the last episode. I was a little irritated. It was a little later in the day. Um, rough week with a uh, new job and all that other fun stuff. So I have to apologize for that. But anyway, uh, I've made it to the next star. We've made it to uh, the Glaveland, Glaveland Basin. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, but in the last episodes, in the last two episodes, we finished up the, uh, trials, and, uh, in between those, I did the side quests. Um, there are a couple more available now, but, um, I'm gonna keep those to myself. Um, like I said in the, the previous episode, the, the one previous to last, um, I want you guys to have some mystery to this game, uh, and a reason for you guys to want it, not just to you know, the main story. So, anyway, um, we are currently looking for Heldoff because now that we have all the Mystic Arts for armatization, uh, we feel that we're ready. I don't think so, but I guess we shall see. So, without further ado, let's see what happens here. Delivery. Um, before, before I start there, uh, I just wanted to say that I had to enter the Glaveland Basin from the, um, from the Roland side instead of the Highland side. Um, the guards on the, uh, Highland side would not let me through where I went the last time before we went into the war. So, um, yeah, so, okay. Confirmed. You Sparrow Feathers definitely know how to secure quality goods. Now, about our next order. Sorry, but something else has come up, actually. We hope to do business with you again, though. Oh, Felice, Telfrin. Boss, what perfect timing. Work? Yeah, we got... Hey! We got something we should discuss elsewhere. Come on over here. All right. Well, that doesn't sound good. We were approached by a secretary from the Roland's government. It looks like a job offer. Okay. What? Is this secretary the steward to the Emperor? That's right. Plus, we got some juicy info, too. Okay. It seems that the Queen of Roland's is making moves to adopt the child of her late brother. Adopted Interesting. Son. The current Emperor what? is the son of the previous one, but the Queen wasn't the mother. Right. And she once conspired with her own what? son in an attempt to shift the line of succession to him. You remember how that all worked out. Hmm. You can bet the secretary hasn't forgotten either. Sounds fine. I'll handle it. You're taking the job? You realize this client is our sworn enemy. Oh. Remember the creed of the scattered bones. If the job itself is a necessary one, it doesn't matter who the client is. That's what we stand for, isn't it? I suppose it is. Gosh, boss. I don't know what we'd do without you. Yeah. Okay, so... And that's why I'm the boss. That's confusing. <laughs> anyway, how should we approach the client? We'll sneak into Pendrago Castle. Oh. Seriously? The client's probably too skittish to come meet with us personally, and a proxy won't do at all. I need to judge the client for myself. Okay, Got so... It. If we're headed for the castle, I better call up everyone. Don't worry. I'm going with her. There are some things that Shepard can't ignore. Huh? You sure? Is this okay, boss? Rose, it's looking like the Imperial family has somehow gotten mixed up with Hellions. We should go by ourselves. Telfrin, Felice, we'll go by ourselves. It'll be easier to get around Ah, now. okay. All right. Take care out there, boss. Saray, so you watch over our boss now. You hear? Will do. Looks like I feel we're heading guilty getting you all wrapped up in the affairs of the scattered bones. It's really okay. I should be there for you. All the more so if Hellions might be involved. Finally, it's time. Let's get going to Pendrago. Dazzle, you're really going through with this? Better late than never. What's this about? You don't need to know. Oh, come on. Just tell me. Oh, there she goes again. <laughs> hey, cut it out. Get the hell off me. What an adorable couple. <laughs> hey, can it, Pixie? 
Let's get moving. Dazzle, are there really Hellions in the Roland's Imperial family? You're slow to catch on. Go see for yourself. That would be a yes. Hey. Yes, Saray. I know. It's cool, guys. I love being kept in the dark. Sorry. I promise, just a little bit longer and we'll be able to explain. Alright, if you say so. Okay. Yeah, it's something that Dezel asked them not to do. So it sounds like we're heading to Pandrago, so so much for held off. Wait for night in Pandrago, then head to the castle. Um, I'm gonna make this super easy. I haven't been doing this a lot lately on screen, but uh, now is as good a time as any. Oh, you mother... Never mind. Pandrago entrance. I can't go right there. So I bet you anything that's where the star is. Which is why I couldn't go there and which is why I couldn't teleport to the Cleveland Basin either. I've got a sneeze coming and it's not coming out and it's bothering the crap out of me. Alright. Well, teleporting there is, uh, is a lot better than having to go all the way from the Vulgarn Forest. Yeah, see, that's where the star is. I gotta go this way. And it wouldn't let me go into Pandarago, so, okay. So, so much for looking for Heldoff. I didn't, I knew something was gonna stop him. I didn't think we were gonna fight Heldoff so soon. Uh, but... I wasn't expecting the Sparrow Feathers, but... Yeah, I guess we'll see. So onward, whoops. I went to go look behind me and I opened the map. Yeah, okay. stupid skunks. Um, I know there was something else I wanted to tell you guys about what I did uh, off screen a little uh, over two episodes ago. There was a little bit more with Alicia and she made some mistake um, thinking that somebody higher up in the government was a spy for the Rollins Empire and it turns out that they were just doing goods underground so to speak is that Zabid? oh boy that's why it wouldn't let me in wonderful um, but to finish my thought, um, Alicia tried to take matters into her own hands and ended up getting, well, caught. Sort of. It, it, it was, a uh, kind of confusing. Blah, blah, blah. I can't words today, apparently. It was a kind of confusing scenario, but uh, basically my point is, is that Alicia may be a little bit in danger. Um, we went to go check up on her, and she was crying. It's like, I just want to do the right thing. And, yeah. So, anyway, it looks like Zavid is right there. So, that's going to be fun. Zavid! Hi. Somehow, I'm guessing this ain't a coincidence. Just a word of friendly advice. Leave your opponent this time to me. Don't mess with me, Zavid. I'm not messing with you, especially not now. You can listen to me or not, your choice. But I'm handling this either way. Okay. Like hell. Fair enough, Dezel. But just so you know, there's two people left that I've still got a score to settle with. Two, and huh? I didn't save these last two shots of mine. Just to throw them away. What are you even talking about? Mickey boy, when a man says he means business, he means business. Don't ever forget that! So now we're gonna fight Zabit again. Now! Come at me! It's on! This is ridiculous! Too late now! Here it goes! Really? I agree with her. This is ridiculous. What? I'm not letting an asshole. 
like you interfere with my plans. You're gonna have to beat this ass first before you can say that. Soret, I can't do this. Don't you dare let Get me out of Here I go. I'm kind of annoyed that we have to face him again in pretty much the same number of episodes. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna go silent for this battle. I think I uh, ran out of other. What the hell is that? Halves damage taken on the use of okay. Whatever. You may be Hiding Dazzle? Why am I not surprised? Damn it, Soray! I told you to let me take this one! Oh, I died. One, two, three. Here I go! Check me out! This isn't happening. I'm done. Well, Rose has no SC whatsoever. Um, I guess I should have stocked up on items. Well, I'm dead. And heals KO. Well, not that I really want to do that, but. Oh, this isn't gonna be fun. I'll tell you why this guy is hard to fight. If you notice, and I know he has a resistance to win, but I don't really have a choice. try one more time but the reason why this guy is hard is because whenever I'm attacking he's not like getting paralyzed in any in any way and I mean there's nothing I can do I can't I can't here. Uh, all right I'm done I'll be back okay I'm back I went shopping quick and hopefully I'll have enough items to do what I need to do I have 15 apple gels, 15 uh, panna gels, whatever, with the P, uh, life bottles and all that. So, hopefully, I'll be able to do Too late now. Here goes. what I need to do, so. Fire fire. I'm not letting an ass like you interfere with my plans. Gonna have to beat this ass first before you can say that. Soret, I'm handling this. Don't you dare try to keep me out. Right. I'm gonna do an apple gel on that one. Why am I not surprised? Damn it, Soray. I told you to let me take this one. 
Oh, come on! Both of you, please, calm down! How am I supposed to hold back? I thought I told you this was a serious fight! Yeah, I did too. Nice. I wasn't paying attention to you. I have no seraph. Lila! Let your guard down! Wonderful. Here's the sky! Arrow's 
still good. Yeah. 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 Watch your help. Alright, I'm doing... Okay. And, well, there goes Adna. Light bottles and I, I will. Oh, wait. So who's down to 2,000? I have the light bottles. I'm going to use it. How much they die? As long. As I win. God damn it. I won. Oh my god. That was annoying as fuck. Damn. You're a lot better at this than you used to be. Hey. If you can't stop this fool from killing the Hellions, then try using this. Its power can stop malevolence from binding with people. Got it. I'll give you my very last shot. You can pay me back later. Why do this? <laughs> Hell if I know. Go on ahead. 
Zavid needs a nap. This guy's an idiot. And he literally just... Does that mean we're not gonna face him? Sweets are so good. Especially after a battle. Oh my god. This thing sure is weird. Is that the thing Zavid gave you? He said that it's a tool that shoots out power. Yeah. And that's how he gets power to oppose the malevolence. So, if you shoot yourself, you gain more power. If you shoot someone with it, you sever their ties with the malevolence. So it's kind of like a bow that only fires arrows of pure energy. Is that it? These bullets have that kind of power? Presumably. And this is the last one, huh? Looks hmm. like it. Assuming we can't figure out how to make more. How about we take it apart and see if we can... No way. I know, I know. We probably wouldn't know how to put it back together if we did that. We need to treat it with care. It's obviously valuable. An arrow of force. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to say save. Cuz cuz that battle was a bitch. Huh. Oh. Well, I won the first the first time I tried, but I used almost all my life bottles to do it. All right, let's do this. All we'll right. have to wait for nightfall to sneak into the castle. Why don't we chill at the inn for a bit? Yeah, that's exactly where I was going. But actually, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go see what this shop has. I think he's a weaponsmith, but yay. There. Restocked on health, so I don't have uh, items, so I don't have to worry about that. Alright. Going to the inn. Guess we're resting for the night. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's do this. All right, I imagine a cutscene here. Nope. But I do imagine it's Nightfall. Talk to Rose? How are we going to see him? You mind if we go check the town out before we head to the castle? If we're gonna sneak in, might as well scope the area out before we do. Okay. So we're sneaking in, where are we going? Well, if it ain't the boss! Welcome, welcome! Lunar! Lunar? But you look like a Hellion. <laughs> oh dear, look at that face. You're scaring me, boss. We don't have time to toy with the likes of you. Come on, I'll settle this right here and now. <laughs> what exquisite anger. It makes me so hungry. Here he comes. Well, I'm glad. The malevolence he emits is incredibly strong. You mean it's just like with the cardinal before? Don't think about anything else until we beat it. Got it. Vermillion we're doing a lot better against Lunar. I thought it was Lamar. Uh, then the first time we fought him. It took me, I think, three tries to beat him uh, when we were in Lady Lake. 
Much. Oh, did your instincts tell you that? Yes. All right. Let's see what happens Damn here now. Damn it! Still not enough? It's the end of the line, Lunar. No! Got it! Whoa. What is this feeling? Watch out! There's someone else here! Might you refrain from acting out of turn? That voice! Shut up! Don't interfere with me! Foolish, reckless fox. Your role was to lead them on, if you recall. If you act recklessly and provoke his anger, what will we do then? <sighs> Wait! This wasn't the plan, but I'm flexible. Whoa! What the? So that voice, I'm wondering if that's, um, the Lord of Calamity's right hand person. Yeah. Now, I tried to do the mystic art on speed, and none of it worked. Everyone okay? I wiped them all out with that. That is awesome. You'd better go after him, or you'll lose him, girl. Surely you won't let him get away with such a vile betrayal. Then that so-called job offer... It was a trap! Damn it. Quit messing around and show yourself! <laughs> What's your hurry? Relax. The... This is just the opening act. I'll relax when you're good and dead. Chase after Lamar. Okay. Hey. Dazzle, do you know whose voice that is? How could I forget? That's who I've been after for so long. What? Haven't you noticed, Lila? I have. There is no malevolence within this domain. Meaning that whoever's generating this isn't a Hellion. Oh, damn. What could this mean? Oh. This isn't a domain? Well, I noticed it's not, like, purpley. Enough, all right? Come on! Let me out! His will is not to be ignored. Lunar! Yeah. Okay, what happened? What is going on? 
Yep, I knew it. Rather productive for an opening act. What splendid anger you've shown me, girl. If it should blossom into hatred. Oh, but how happy he will be. Who is she? I've waited so long. Indeed, the time is ripe for both of us. Wait, Dazzle! She's not a Hellion! Like I give a damn. You turn my friends into Hellions and drag the name of the Windriders through the mud? What are you talking about, Dezel? <laughs> Do you mean to say that the girl still doesn't know? D splendid. Oh, how splendid. <laughs> the oh, perfect yay. scene has been set. So this is how Rose will find out. Dezel, no! Let me go. This moment is what I've been living for. Everyone stop. This whole thing is wrong. Saray, Dezel, what's going on? Dear, dear girl, let me fill you in. In a desperate effort to preserve and continue the Windriders, who were his last concrete connection to his dead comrade, this Seraph abused your remarkable resonance to periodically commandeer your body, steering you yeah. all into the darkness, recreating the Windriders as an assassin's guild. <clears throat> then, in his quest to kill a Hellion, he set his sights on the power of the Armatus, using you over and over as a vessel to enact his vengeance. It was all right, he thought. It was all to avenge his friend. I do wonder if you agree. <gasps> Not by our face. Right. And to take my revenge against you, I would do it all again in a heartbeat. That's enough, creepy little girl, for now. Yeah, there's something wrong about all of this. Let's get out of here. I think not. She became a Hellion? Why? If words alone won't make you remember. Well, like I said, I'm flexible. So, you show your true colors at last. Dang it! Wonderful. That's the only reason I live! Oh, how lost you are in the delusion of self-affirmation. What are you saying? It's quite pitiful, really. So I do understand how you got like this. Yes, and I am. Let's do our best. Eyes on the prize. Charge! Very well. Burst! Ocean flip! What? No flurry! Ocean flip! Break on the roof! Aiming fire! Ocean flip! I need a hand! hand. you lose your friend after killing a Hellion? What happens to its malevolence? Are you really so sure you want this to be your vengeance? Shut up! Truly after. I've had enough of your crap! My, you really are lost, aren't you? How poignant. 
She's getting a little stronger. Attacking a little bit more often. I'm kind of confused on why I can't do my next level. Okay. Lila, get ready to purify her. Not this time. I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> what? You mustn't. There's no other way. No, he's broken the pack. Dazzle. I can't let you do that. What? But why? Saray, this isn't the time. All right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Again, I can manipulate the senses of others, deceive them through illusion. So when it looked like you'd suddenly turned into a Hellion, Precisely. Though for the record, the Hellion was real. Break on through! Burst! Break down! Break on through! Lila, use the authority of the Prime Lord to stop Dazzle. I can't. The Sub Lord has broken the pact. Can that even be done? Not usually. It can't be done from the Sub Lord's side. My, my, this is getting interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. Break on through! Tell me what it is you're after! There's something you should know, Shepard. What? Let me show you exactly what mischief your Sarah friend has wrought. All he did was merely give his blessing. That's all. But not every blessing of the Seraphim is one that brings fortune to the people. Finally! Finally, I can kill you! Die! Oh. Was that his friend? I really, really enjoy traveling with them. We're so lucky. Yeah. I'm truly grateful. So was that and of course, thing? I want to bring the yeah. Wind Riders under Rolens's wing. You're the greatest in the land. But engagement to you, Prince Conan? It's like a dream. I'm sorry to see our journey end, but all's well that ends well. No. I don't want this to end. Hmm. Don't let up out there. Go! Prince Conan, the captain is missing! That Get away from though. her right now! <laughs> Who are you to order me around? He's... he's already a Hellion! Huh? Who are you talking to? You all smell so... so delicious! It's driving me wild! Hmm. How could he have completely turned into a Hellion in such a short amount of time? Your Highness, what is this nonsense about us killing the first Imperial Prince? Guards! The traitor scum are here! A trap, huh? You sick lunatic. How can this be? It appears that Brad, the leader of the Wind Riders, has murdered the Prince. He is already in custody of the Pendrago City Guard. 
All other Wind Riders are likewise under arrest. Oh. Understand? It's all because Prince Conan became a Hellion, and at the urging of his Hellion greed, he sought to eliminate all hindrances. And by now, I imagine that you've already guessed what made him a Hellion. Have you not? Him. I might be willing to pardon you, at least, if you'll agree to be mine. What? <laughs> oh, come now. You'd be the kept woman of the heir to the throne! A greater hmm. honor does not exist. <sighs> Why you? Come on! Your blessing. Do you have any idea what people call those with this kind of power? Angels of death. It was <laughs> all my fault. So he made the oh. prince my fault. A Hellion, and then in turn, just with those events, it turned his friend into a Hellion, and then. Looks like someone finally remembers his past. Rose! Jezzle! Move it! <laughs> and now the real fun starts, Shepard. Pay close attention. will kill her even before that happens. A shepherd is faced with difficult choices sometimes. Isn't that right? Better decide quickly, shepherd. Your darling comedian doesn't have long. Silence! It's not letting me attack. Not that I really wanted to. Get back for a moment. I have a plan. Okay. Okay. Oh, Shepard, do quit your desperate flailing about. You risk making a mess of the grand stage I spent all this time preparing. Surai. Hmm. Listen. Dezel, don't push yourself. Just listen to me. We have to... <laughs> sever the bond between Rose and the Hellion. Even for the Shepard, that would be nothing short of a miracle. It's impossible. Surrey, hand me that thing you cut from Savid. It can fire strength itself, right? And I shall be that strength. I shall be your attack. What do you mean? Even as he is absorbed into the Hellion, he'll become an attack with a will of its own. He'll find the bond between Rose and the Hellion and sever it without hurting her body. 
But that's just suicide. If I can summon up the last reserves of my strength and merge them with the power stored in this one remaining bullet, I can stay myself long enough to break the bond while leaving Rose untouched. Saray, neither Rose nor I can afford to waste any more time. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Jazzle? No! Counting on you. Don't mess this up! Holy shit. Rose. I'm so sorry. It was me. I caused you, the Windriders, everyone to suffer. It's all my fault. That's what was bugging you? I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life. Five years ago, when everything went pear-shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. Yeah, we could have. But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy. In fact, I'm grateful to you. Really. Nice. Hey, come on. There's got to be more you want to say. I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. Say bros. And that one right thing made everything else worthwhile. I'm what? eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. Yeah. Tell Saray and the others that it wasn't all bad. Romping around those ruins with all those nutballs. I will. And if they get bummed out about this, tell them, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. Ha. Huh. And then give them a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. Good luck out there. Keep on keeping on. Nice. Aww. Yeah! Rose! Oh, thank goodness! does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? Was not his very existence evil to the core, and deserving of extermination? LIES! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the Shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> who are you anyway? I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable seraph, burdened with countless sins. Oh. <sighs> and now, Exeunt. Wait! I suggest you make time to grieve.
Hmm. That's not cool. Okay, I'm gonna pause here. The reason why I didn't say anything is because I came across an article and for whatever reason, and I'm, I'm kicking myself still, but I had a feeling. Um, in fact, I, d I didn't have a feeling. I knew that was going to happen. Maybe not exactly, but I knew Dezel was going to sacrifice himself. I think I mentioned that I, wa I saw a spoiler um, a while ago, and it, it was kind of obvious because Zavid is a Wind Seraph, and there's no other, you know, double types, so to speak. You know, there's two Wind Seraph, one Water, one Earth, one Fire. So it, it, it could have came to that conclusion anyway. But I'm extremely disappointed because I probably may or may not have made that connection. Um, but that was, that was sad. But yeah, so let's continue. I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <clears throat> I need a bit of a walk myself. No well, time to walk around town. After talking to everyone, return to the inn. Um... Dezel's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. That I was sucks. thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation so much as... I just want to know in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We definitely have to find some answers. Yeah. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. I'm curious to see how Rose is going to feel about all this. Oh, is that the inn? No, I don't want to go up there yet. I want to talk to everybody. Wait. Well, does that mean I talk to said star? No. Huh. Somebody's over here. Is this Zavid? Oh, there's still countless stars. I just forget how to... I know there's one in the end. Oh, you can go this way, can't you? Okay. I'm stupid. And here's Edna.
Our friend, the creepy little girl. She said she was burdened with sins. Mm-hmm. Right. And she also said that the shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. She's not kidding. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna, stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother, either. So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before, anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's nothing to discuss. Yeah. Saray. All I was really trying to say is that I think Dazzle was saved, in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. Thank you, Edna. Don't mention it. Was that a smile? I thought I just saw a smile, guys. And here's Lila. Lila, what are you doing? Oh, this? That's incredible! How'd you do that? Making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. I see. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I just start thinking about things. Yeah. So that's Moments the three, of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray. But regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of their lost one, so that it may reach them. Since Dezel was a wind seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. Nice. Now, Saray, let's send it off. And it went off all right. I'm sure it reached him. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be quite fine. There's no need to worry. I'm going to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. All right then. I'll leave you to it. Okay. We got a couple more stars. I too have a ways to go. And there's a lot she's not telling us either. So I think one is by the inn, and one is by the, the door. Or the exit. So, it said, return to the inn after talking to everyone. Well... I haven't talked to everyone yet, but... Exiting really isn't the way to go. It's getting late. Maybe we should rest up. Rest. So, I wonder if that's gonna send me to the inn automagically. Morning, Saray. Did you sleep well? Yeah. You don't look like it. Yo, Saray. Oh, Zavid. You're still here. Ouch. Lila, is he always this cold? Well, it looks like everyone's here. Care to explain why you wish to enter the Sublord Pact? No problemo. 
My goal is directly connected to the Shepherd's journey. Your goal? Oh yeah, you said there were people you had to settle the score with. Right, one of them being little Miss Edna's older brother. And the other? Mautelis. Mautelis of the Five Lords? The entire Glenwood oh, continent face. is supposed to be under his protection, right? That face Except Lila our gave baby him. boy toddled off somewhere, and right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows up. Isn't that funny? It can't be. I didn't think it could be either. At first. But if Mount Hellas really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf... We'll need to confirm that's what happened. And the only way to do that is to approach him directly. Maybe. But we need to be able to stand against Heldolf's domain. Or we're sunk. And that's where I come in. If you'll let me fill the Dezel-shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. How about it? It's in all our best interests, right? What do you believe we should do? Saray! No! Uh, what were we talking about again? We were thinking... Hey, can I have the floor? Huh? Hey! I thought you had good to do in the world! Keep moping and crying! And I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe! That's what he said. Oh, and he asked me to kick your ass a little too while I was at it. And then I... I told him... I'd do my best out there. And, and the so tears. that's why... That's why I'm damn well gonna do my best out there! <laughs> why? Why am I crying like this? Rose. He was really, really glad he got to travel with all of you. And I... I didn't even notice. But in the end, he was smiling. If only I talked with him more. Ah, oh, the feels. <laughs> oh, forget it. I'm done. Thank you, for delivering his message to us. He was a kind watchdog up until the very end. I'll say. Guess you'll be okay from now on, huh, Rose? I'm okay. Are you okay? All right, let's go. Hold your horses. Don't I get a pack thingy? No. Oh. Yes. Yes, he does. Alrighty, so, now what do we do? Just as planned. We're heading to Glavend Basin. Since it's the place where we first met Heldolf. Glavend Basin, huh? Here we go! Nice. Alrighty. Well, the feels on that were definitely real, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. Um, I've been recording a little longer, and I know there was a gap when I was fighting Zabid, but, uh, he joined. Excuse me. He joined us, uh, as you see here, in place of Dezel. Um, so that ought to be really interesting, but I have a feeling he's a good guy. Um, but Maltellus being the Lord of Calamity, I know Lila has been, you know, anytime that name pops up, she's been like, uh, I don't want to talk about it. And... And that's it. So I think of, we'll also eventually take care of the dragon, uh, Edna's brother. So I guess we'll see. So really good progress. I'm happy about that. Uh, so in the next episode, we will continue. Um, we'll do pretty much the same thing. I imagine I'll start out exactly where I, where I started this episode out. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope to see you all again very soon. Until then, take care. Bye.